how are you doing? So it's time to first shave again. And I didn't take a shower, just wet my face. I put on some progress so pre-shave. So <coughs> we're gonna use a razor. And uh, this is the razor. It is the Triceratops. After got the name of the dinosaur. I'm not exactly sure why though. Uh, also read it was based on uh, some uh, other design. I can read it for you. First I'll show you the picture or the video. So that's how it uh, works. You put in a gem blade and it locks in place there. It doesn't look so wide as in the in the film and uh, to tell the truth I think I put it in there first where you see the first ridge but I guess when you tighten it down it will be locked in place. Uh, the friend 3D printed for me. Yeah, Triceratops SC and uh, here are some other pictures different colors mine is blue you can find it on Tingverse, www.tingverse.com, Ting46, maybe I put it in the link in the description. It's, they say it costs like five bucks to print it, so that's an affordable razor, <laughs> cheap, you might say. And there's some talking about it on uh, the shave down. Two piece clamp design for the AC blades is even nicer in my opinion, somebody say. And here someone say it's based upon the design of Clark King Racers made in the 1910s. It was and still is a good example of KISS. Keep it simple, stupid <laughs> design. And it's uh, the design is from Roger Quintero. Okay, we can get down to shaving now. So I just ladder up and soap here. I think that's good. Maybe I need to add water. I did just put my face and uh, <laughs> I put on some Pro Rasso Pre Shave just to be safe. I have to put out some more water. It's just a razor blue I using my Samog the big shave brush limited edition. And somebody wanted to buy it for me too some time ago but I don't think I want to sell it. <laughs> Not that I guess it's kind of rare, but not that rare, but <coughs> I kind of like to have it myself. I'm uh, sorry, I got a, a telephone call. <laughs> that does <and those> things <laughs> when people, when you want to do something and people call here, it's okay. <laughs> Hope I didn't change too much. <laughs> I think I need some more water. So the soap is Leah. I will show you the picture afterwards. Yeah. So I'm really just so sad what happened in the Congress in America. It really is sad and it seems to me it was Donald that made it happen. So it's horrible. I never expected that to happen to the Congress. So the security couldn't have been that great. I 
I think everybody in Europe quite shocked, probably many in America too. So, yeah, but hopefully Donald won't do that again. I hope. <laughs> It's really, really sad. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> so I'm using just a regular gem blade. The Monset Rust. I was, I was thinking of using a blade that I have in this and I thought they didn't they were stainless but look when I open the package <laughs> what is that must be rust right you tell me <laughs> I don't know if I dare to use it so there So what is my first impressions? Lightweight. I it wasn't easy to get it uh, aligned. Maybe it could be better with uh, some more tabs that goes over. But I think it looks straighter. Color is nice. He said they had to do something inside here, the guy who printed it for me. But I got a good price. It's very lightweight though. <laughs> okay, and the respirator. I think maybe a little bit beefier hand could you better make it better, a little bit thicker. And uh, maybe something more on the back side here so it covers the blade up more that's just my impression of it anyway let's see I'm just trying to find the angle so first shave of uh, 2021 everybody at least over here on uh, YouTube I did shave some time ago 5th of January when it was King uh, Gillette's birthday or it would have been a birthday's birthday Oh, that's interesting. So single edge, rinse off. I think it looks still straight. Definitely feels a little bit aggressive. And some said it will be easy to clean up. I can see there's a, some ladder back there now. And here in front too. It feels a little bit rough. I don't know if it's the blades or just the design of the rear razor. But so far, no bleeding, no cuts. Feels a little bit rough. Yeah. I think I got the ladder up better there. So maybe take a handle a little bit longer, more weight to it, maybe you could put in something. I don't know. It would be better, but it's not bad. I give it that. Well, that was the first pass, everybody. And it knocked down a lot of stuff, but I feel a little bit.
Let's get this soap. Let's see. I got it in there. Yeah, bottom the avatar originally. Uh, <coughs> so now they're talking about the uh, possibilities for a lockdown here in Norway. The corona is up or is high now in my city. Can't say I expected it, but well, <laughs> it is what it is. So I was thinking if I was uh, did order a appointment to go to the gym last year. 2020 but uh, yeah, yesterday I called the office and I said I think I want to postpone the appointment because Corona is so high now so hope it will go down they get the vaccine I heard they got a good vaccine in England too now that's supposed to be perhaps or possibly even better that's uh, gone through the testing, probably. <coughs> I don't know if I should change the blade. Maybe it's just a little bit rough, this razor. It's not hurt or anything like that. Maybe it's better when you don't have so much stubble. Can be. And there was one hair coming out of the brush. Feels a little bit rough. I don't know if it's the blade or what. <laughs> as far as I know, there wasn't any videos on this razor. Out on YouTube. Seems like the ladder is coming out. So Triceratops is like a dinosaur. Right? I wonder why they gave it that name. Is the scale similar or <laughs> I don't know. It certainly feels uh, feel solid. It's not flimsy. Well constructed. Only thing is, I don't like the blade protruding so much, but it's not a problem. It's the aesthetics, I guess, or something like that. Oh, yeah. Okay, last pass against the grain. It will be interesting to see <coughs> how that goes. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should cut my hair again. I think I will cut it short next time. Really short. <laughs> so that's how the soap is. I graded it down into the bowl. I think I got a bleeder there. 
<laughs> so maybe I need my Allen block. It's a slippery ha handle on this brush. Well, this time I want to try a, a board brush again. I've been using since lately. lately. I like them though. They're pretty good. Nice. You can wash your hands <laughs> if you don't want to waste it. <laughs> but actually you wash your hands a lot these days. <laughs> Just going to the store and I have to use masks now in the stores too and in the pharmacy. Ouch, almost dropped it on the sink. <coughs> yeah, it looks like it's straight and it's on a tapster. But maybe it could have been a little bit more like the gem razor stuff. I don't think you should use too much pressure with this one. At least be careful. <laughs> I think I got a few whips. I don't think you can risk cutting yourself on the sides here. I think it's okay. Yeah, looks like I have a few weepers. Someone said to me in a, or in the group that the Micromatic Open Comb is Oh yeah, <laughs> open comb is uh, aggressive, but for me with these plates it's not aggressive, but this one is a little bit more aggressive. But I think it can bite you if you, if you uh, use pressure. That's for sure. Let's see. Maybe I need some touch-ups there. I haven't used SCs in a while though. But I did use a chic, uh, chic razor here some time ago. But after some hours it wasn't so close. I think it's because the angle. But I feel like I got the angle pretty good on this one. Let me rinse off, I'll be right back. So there. So let's use the alum block. Let's see if we got any sting. You can see perhaps there. I think I cut something there. Oh yeah. That stings. And stings here too. <laughs> yeah, stings a lot here. So there. <coughs> so the blade, you just unscrew it. Like so, and then it's a little bit hard to get there, and there, and there you can see. You can screw it back on again. So this 
The plug from the handle holds the blade in place or locked. In there. There is some tabs there, but they aren't uh, like going over like in a regular SC or jam erasers or, uh, or shakes. So, impressions and uh, conclusion. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good razor. I don't think I got some serious cuts, but a lot of uh, weepers. Maybe a little bit cut there though, stings. I like the design of it. Beautiful. Don't like the blade sticking out so much, but it's not a problem. It's well made, sturdier than uh, some of the bought uh, Plastic razors, perhaps, and uh, what you can get. So it's well, uh, well made. I don't know if uh, because I didn't take a shower, my hairs weren't super soft. It, it's because of that, but I haven't had so much problem with that before. So I don't know, or maybe my blades. Uh, I don't know. So about that, I will try it again. I have uh, perhaps one more of these, but I, when I found out they look like that, I don't know if I want to use it. So, yeah, it gives me a close shave. Really close shave. It's a little bit rough there. Maybe I cut off some skin there too. So, so yeah, it's a efficient, uh, efficient razor. I give you that. Very nice looking. Perhaps you could, if you have a metal thing, you can cut it, cut off the the back side of it or something. So it would not protrude so much or stick out so much. But it's not an issue. Or maybe they could have built a little bit. A little bit more further back. That is the only thing I can say about it. Maybe a little bit heavier handle. Uh, maybe it's a little bit open comb, something like that. It is it clean at least, no problems. So yeah, I like it. I will use it again. But next time I'll take a shower and make sure my my hair or the the hair growth is, is properly hydrated or uh, whis whiskers <laughs> so yeah okay let me rinse up oh, ow. I'm a little sore yeah. I don't think it's razor burn but I think I just sized off a little bit skin here and there not a lot of irritation I get that sometimes so let's put on some words not so much I think I just put it on here this time there it smells really good so yeah it's a good racer but uh, uh, if you're gonna buy or make one or print one, just uh, don't use too much pressure. I don't think I use pressure, but I can see it for sure. So there, the shellac ball it smells really good. So yeah, for the price, you can't complain. Maybe it was the blade. I don't know. Or the lack of taking a shower just wet my face. But a good efficient razor, no doubts. This is BBS. Really close here too actually. I think more close here than last time. A little bit there I could feel. So it's really efficient. And maybe after use it will be even better when you get more, you get more used to it. 
So I think it's a really good razor, really nice design and uh, efficient. Just wish maybe the hand was a little bit longer, a little bit thicker. But other than that, very nice. Nothing to complain about except a little bit rough <laughs> first trial or the first test of it. So I hope you liked the review and uh, if you have one you can let me know how your shave was, what it is it was. So, so yeah I like it. I will definitely use it again for a price. Excellent. And it gave me a really close shave. But uh, maybe because of the yeah, I see a chop shipped <laughs> shop I cut some of my skin there. Maybe it will be better when you use it a little bit while and we will get more proficient or better with it. So I think it's a really good razor. I, yeah, I, thumbs up for me. <laughs> anyway. So I hope you liked the video. Stay safe. Take care. And may all have solid shades. Bye now.